video is brought to you by Patreon show sponsor, CT Sounds. You can see everything they have to offer at ctsounds.com. Okay, so we're gonna learn how to pull TS parameters off this driver here. This is a Pierce Audio that I do not have the TS parameters for, so perfect opportunity to do this. All we're gonna need is everything you see on this bench right here, so quite a lot. The way we're gonna do that is with the uh, SMD IMSG. So this is my first time doing it. I have not ever done it. So you're gonna learn just like I do. We'll go step by step and we'll learn all the process. Obviously you need your speaker gonna test. The SMD, you, there's also date and dats you can use. We will need a tape measure, a scale, some clay or a known mass to test with, a digital multimeter, and a laptop with, on this, the SMD software. So I'll leave a link to that in the description and you'll be able to check it out. Let me get uh, set up on a tripod and then we'll start walking it through step by step. Okay, we're gonna start off within the software. It's all set up. I'm using LibreOffice here, but you can use Excel spreadsheet and I, I'm sure there's some kind of Mac program you can use as well. But you have to make sure that your security is low on the macros so that it can run. And sorry if the screen isn't coming out so great on video, it usually doesn't do well like that. So we're gonna go ahead and put the start button and see what we come up with. We need to measure the resistance. Now, it's important to get pretty accurate on this. I'll be using my little Craftsman multimeter here set up in the ohm so we can read the impedance. Now I do have resistance in these leads of about 0.6. So we'll have to remember that. Well, let's see, we got to 0.5. We will remember that when we take our reading here. So we got 0.5 resistance. Let us see where we're at. Okay, we are right at three ohms because we got the 0.5 resistance. So we'll enter that in and we'll see what it comes up with. Okay, turn the IS, IMSG and connect the harness, short the clips together, wait for the reading to settle. Turn it on here. Okay, it's in the open position. We will short them out. Looks like it's settled at 0.15 ohms. Press and hold the range button to compensate for the test leads. Calibrated. With the IS or IMSG, find the frequency of the driver where the impedance reaches its maximum. Enter the frequency here. Okay, so I will leave the tool set up here. I will connect the leads to the subwoofer. You can kind of hear it already. Now we will find the frequency of the driver where the impedance reaches its maximum. Okay, so we're looking for the max impedance here. Maybe I should move my big hand so we can see better. Forty-seven point eight hertz. That looks like it was the top. Uh, 
Okay, so we're gonna go 47.2, 47.2. If you're enjoying this video and you're thinking to yourself, hey, I'd like to see a little bit more of what Hi5 Vega does, you should check out the podcast I do with my good buddy Derek from Wilson Audio. It's called 12E Talk. We are live every Wednesday at youtube.com slash 12E Talk at 7 p.m. Central. We're also available as an audio-only podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and many more. It shows us our FS here. Now enter the impedance found during the last step. And that was 20.8. Six. We'll get our with a IMSG. Lower the frequency until it reads seven point nine ohms. Enter the found frequency here. So we're looking for seven point nine ohms. So we're 37.9 with the IMSG raise the frequency slowly until it read 9 ohms and then enter the frequency here. So right here, what we're doing is going above that curve. And that's why we're raising it. All right, 57.4 hertz. And what we're doing right now is we're raising it above the curve. And that's why it says raise it from where you are until you get back to 7.9 hertz. So we're 57.4 hertz or 7.9 ohms, I mean. 57.4. Add a known mass to the cone. Find the frequency where the impedance reaches its maximum. So in order to do that, we've got this little scale right here. One hundred and ninety nine point four grams. Go back over here. And if you hear that slight hum, that's the uh, that's the tool putting some frequency through the subwoofer here. And you're gonna kind of smash it down so that it doesn't move a lot well, let's trying to find our maximum impedance all right 12.3 ohms our maximum impedance impedance that is 23.1 hertz we enter that enter the weight of the known mass that is 199.4 grams Enter the diameter of the cone from the center of the round to the center of the surround. That's simple enough. This is the part where I take the tape measure. Center to center. We're going to start on the 10 here. So we are 6 and 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, we have... 6.375, which is 3 eighths. And then we have all of our TL small parameters. So pretty simple. Um, things that I may have forgot to mention in the beginning is that if you have a driver that has a pole piece like this one, you need to prop it up on something. I've just got a couple little short runs of one aught underneath there so we get the good flow 
And outside of that, it, it seems more daunting than it is to do so, to test these. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad at all. So if you want to pick up this tool, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, they're sold out a lot of times, but maybe you can find one. Also, I'll leave a link to in the description to the Dayton Dats, which does something very similar. And uh, you can get the same results with it in this way. Now, Dayton Dats does not do everything that this tool does. And we're just covering one portion of what this tool does. So this tool is, is a wide-ranging tool. It can be used for many, many things. If you happen to catch this video on a whim and you're not subscribed, I'd like to encourage you to do so. I put out content like this every single week. If you are subscribed, go ahead and drop a like and a comment. Let's keep the conversation going below. A big shout out to all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to the six dollar or more members, Alistair McCullum, Brent Ballard, The Third Era, Gene Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Jason Nisley, Rick Quadabom, William Berg, CT Sounds, Byron Shambliss, the Car Audio Guy, and Tim Lowe. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and get exclusive Patreon-only content not available on YouTube.